Good morning, YouTube fam. Today we are making breakfast. I have some delicious huevos rancheros coming up for you guys, so stay tuned because this recipe is delicious. I'm starting with two pretty big sized tomatoes and I'm dicing them just like this. Cutting it in half and then just kind of a uh, julienne style type of cut. Um, I like them like this because any smaller, they just kind of become really mushy in the sauce that we are going to create for our breakfast. This size, they keep their shape, but they also release all of the flavor and all of the juices that the tomato has. I'm also using half of a purple onion and I'm dicing it the exact same way. You can use white onion, yellow onion, purple onion, whichever onion your little heart desires. I also have a large garlic clove and this little guy I'm gonna chop up just a bit smaller so that we don't get big chunks of garlic in our sauce. <clears throat> I always love to add a little bit of heat to mm, about 99.9% .9 of my food. So I did dice up a serrano pepper. You can leave this out, or if you want it to be spicier, you can add more peppers all to your liking. In a hot skillet, I am adding about two tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm going to start sauteing my onion, my garlic, and my serrano peppers. I'm gonna leave this in here for just a few minutes, maybe one or two minutes, just so that we can get a head start on cooking down that garlic and getting those onions a bit translucent. And here shortly after, I will be adding my tomatoes because I want those to, like I said, release all of the juice and flavor so that we can create a nice yummy sauce for our breakfast. And I hope you guys try this because this recipe is so good. So, 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 so good. And keep in mind, if you wanted to get a head start, you know, to make this for breakfast, you can dice up all of this the night before, put it in a Tupperware, and then in the morning, just go straight to cooking. Here I'm seasoning. I'm using some salt and some pepper. And I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic powder just for a little extra flavor since we do have a garlic clove in there already. Here I have a really nice pinch of oregano. I'm kind of crushing it with my fingers and then just um, adding that right over top. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix, get all of those seasonings incorporated. Now these seasonings are to taste. I did about a pinch of each, but if you feel like it needs more salt, by all means, grab a little piece of tomato, taste it, and then adjust the seasoning to your liking. Here I have some green onions. I believe I have two, um, and I'm just finely chopping those, setting those aside for now. I also have a small bunch of fresh cilantro doing the same. This is gonna be part of our um, toppings and just chop that up nicely and set that to the side as well. We are checking on our veggies here. As you can see, look at the juice that the tomatoes have let out by themselves. Um, it's good, but I want a little bit more. So <laughs> I kind of want um, it to be a bit more saucy, but not just that. This is gonna evaporate a little bit and cook down, so I do like to add a little bit of water. Now I'm gonna flavor this up just a bit more, and I'm just doing a good pinch of chicken bouillon, approximately a teaspoon, not a whole lot. Um, like I said, you can taste the little broth here and then determine if you need anything else, just how I'm doing here. It was pretty delicious at this point. Had a nice little kick with that, just with that one serrano, so super good. I'm gonna add about half of my green onions to my sauce here, and about half, a little more than half of my cilantro. This is all to taste, all to liking, so you can leave it out or you can add much less 
or you can even add more but I like this ratio where I have enough of all of the vegetables enough tomato enough onion enough green onion enough cilantro for it to not only look you know nice and pretty and uniform but for all of those flavors um, to you know to marry together and just make a really nice sauce so my sauce I have on very very low on the left side there and here I'm gonna go ahead and make the tostadas for this breakfast as you can see I have one made already and it's this is just pretty much your deep frying your tortillas getting them nice and crispy so I made a couple of those set them to the side and seasoned lightly with salt once you have your tostadas made we are gonna move on to the eggs adding a little bit of seasoning remember season as you go don't leave anything unseasoned I added a very small sprinkle of salt and pepper quick and easy just doing that will just give you so much flavor once you add everything together so here I have really nice hot oil and this is the same um, saucepan and the same oil I used for the tostadas so no need to pull out any more pots and pans <laughs> that same one will work so I'm just kind of pouring the hot oil over top that way I don't have to worry about flipping my egg and I just kind of am moving the oil so that we can get an even cook I slowly and you want to let this cook for just a little bit but you slowly want to start unsticking that egg if it's not unsticking it means it needs to cook a little bit longer and then just gently go in there and keep adding that hot oil so it cooks from the top you can see my egg is nice and unstuck now from here we are going to move it directly into our sauce you can see our sauce is at a very very low simmer you're going to add however many eggs you want to add to this sauce all depending on how many people you're feeding obviously and now we're going to cut the heat off on those eggs and sauce and start assembling i have some refried beans that i made the day before so actually that's the reason why i decided to make this for breakfast because i had already had beans ready so you're going to smear a nice amount of beans on your tostadas just like this and then I'm gonna add a little bit of shredded cheese my beans are hot so this cheese will melt but I'm also gonna be adding the hot eggs and sauce so that'll help the cheese melt even further oh my gosh my mouth is watering <laughs> I love this breakfast so much so here I am going to top it with my eggs now I cook my eggs about over easy to over medium because they do continue to cook in this sauce of course if you want your eggs cooked all the way just go ahead and fry them until they're fully cooked and then add them to the sauce I love my eggs over easy over medium preferably so this is the way that I love to eat them and this is the way they are typically eaten but I know that many of you don't like runny eggs and that is okay cook them to the way that you like them cooked and boom the recipe is still delicious even if you have to change one or two little things so here you guys go I went ahead and topped it with some green onions and a little extra cilantro over top I made sure I added plenty of the vegetables the onion the tomato because that is where all the flavor really is and look oh my goodness <laughs> So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this recipe. Um, it is amazing. Yes, it was nice and spicy, but I did add a little bit of tapatio for just additional little heat. But take a look at this, guys. Go right in now. I'm being neat and used a fork and a knife just to show you a nice little cut. But listen, most of the time I pick these up and put them right up to my mouth and bite them like a regular tostada. So, so good. I hope that you guys really love this recipe because it's a good one. It really is. It's authentic. It's easy. It's delicious. So make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because I truly do appreciate it. And if you leave any comments, you already know I reply to all of them. So leave me one below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.